All right, so today's video, we're watching a platform tank on PC, playing some Reinhardt and Sigma. They say, man, this game felt like a doozy. We started out on defense, and I felt like I was really struggling to hold spaces Ryan against their team, and with the overall tempo of the match. If the rest of my team hadn't been carrying so hard, I don't think we would have forced the enemy team to overtime on defense. I decided to switch to Sigma on offense, and my team and I started rolling. I'll save the ending as a surprise, but this was by far the fastest paced game of Overwatch I've ever played. I recently cracked my way into Plat on PC, switched from console a few seasons ago, and would love some advice on how to continue climbing in the match and match the change in tempo as I move up the ranks. I definitely had more than my fair share of mistakes this game, so any and all advice is welcome. So basically, you want to start to uh, adapt to like the new ranks you're climbing in, as well as obviously being on PC now. Okay, sounds good. We'll see how it goes. Plus, it's a King's Row tank game. I'll take this. Thank you. All right. The classic just fight at the choke. All right. Careful of uh, over. You're leaving the Ryan behind you, and you're you're minimize some poke damage here. Hi, just get your cooldowns up. Hi, don't worry about the Ryan even either. Just, just wait. Okay. Um. So do you notice how they're Ryan? Yeah, I'm just gonna. There you go. All right, let's get my volume set. Okay. Do you notice how their Ryan was being really aggressive? Like how their Ryan was like going in, like going out, making space, and then all you did was get distracted by the Reinhardt? That's why I didn't want to see you go back. I felt like at a certain point you were going to give up too much space, and if you if you don't just hold main at that point because of where you're playing, you're going to lose. So when their Reinhardt goes in, that also means their team's also susceptible to you being aggressive. Instead, you chose to back up. They kill your Bastion. You're just, that's it. You can't do anything else. So uh, you wanted to talk about like pacing and like matching the speed, etc. I really think that you needed to stay main because you, at that point, you, you can't, your disengage is already going to be a lost point. So I'd rather see you, you know, maybe you stay main and, and you distract their team enough with your shield and your management and they don't push in and like, like they, they aren't able to make a play. And I think that would make it a lot better for you. Um, so I, I just, I just, I felt like matching the pace there is, is trying to play as, if you're going to play aggro, then play aggro because you you won't be able to save your shield against them and you'll play defensive. Be stuck playing defensive. Because they have a Bastion Zen, you know? You have a Bastion Zen, so their Ryan's gonna deal with the same thing. But they're playing aggressive while you're playing a bit more passive. Alright, here we go. Oh, big slam! MG, thank you for the tier one. Thank you. You won't be able to push past. Play choke, play choke, play choke. Okay, I gotta pause. So remember one thing. Like, the amount of damage that you're going to take against that comp is astronomical. So for you, and this goes for anybody, you don't want to push past this choke unless your teammates are out there. And look how your teammates are going to play. No one's prepared to help you. Your, your team comp doesn't have the ability to go up there and follow up. So when you push past her, you're dead. What you want to do here, and this goes for any tank player, if you have this part of the map hold, you just hold here. And you, and you constantly stop the cart. What ends up happening is, eventually, they push past and they end up here. Now, sometimes you win these, sometimes you lose these, but the odds that you're going to have a good team fight is going to go in favor of the defense if you hold this side of the choke. You have the ability to get your shield up, you have the ability to take less damage, you have the ability to then peek whenever you want to and do damage, you have the ability to hide, right? So, I, I'd rather see you just kind of play this angle than go in here, shatter somebody behind a shield to the right, go for them, and then get rolled. You see that? I know you want to keep up with the pace of what... As you mentioned, like you want to keep up with the speed of the game, how it's going, but like some you don't have to just run in and shatter and then be like, what's going on? Like that was on you. That was on you. I mean, I've been having fun, Walker, for that question. Sorry, I just saw that now. The enemy is here. Counter charge that. The moment a Ryan charges you, you have to counter charge it. Like, like, I, otherwise, that's what happens. 
and your reaction was a little bit too late on that, so. That's it. You said Zen can be so oppressive to tanks after his purple orb cooldown change. I mean, do a little bit, but I still think six seconds without it and, like, being able to line inside it is still fairly decent. I still like the state that Discord orb is in now than it was before. It's much easier to deal with it than before. Go to Masha. Nice. All right, now just regroup and wait. I think I'm going to say, like, I mean, it, just, it was just recently, within, like, what, a year ago, where, you know, for seven years of Overwatch, Discord Orb was on you, and, you know, you could reapply it at any point. So, there is a little bit of counterplay to it. Nice job by your Sabra getting a kill. Now, remember, a lot of stand in the round, it's okay to, like, at least go up there and, and try to show some presence. So you don't need to run into their team, you just need to show presence. You need to make them feel like they can't just stand in these spots, which you did. That's a good job. Just a little bit delayed on that, on doing that. That's all that was. Uh, I'm gonna pause for this question. I'm gonna pause for this one. You said, Ryan is fun in comp, but you feel like he needs a buff. Believe it or not, Ryan is... And I wouldn't doubt it if this is the exact stat. Ryan is by far one of the highest win rate, if not the highest win rate heroes in all of Overwatch. Literally. One of the highest win rate heroes in all of Overwatch. And... I know that someone will look at, like, overbuff and be like, well, look at Ryan's win rate in, in top 500. Yes, that's a little bit different because of how it's going to be played, but even then, I think Ryan's are, are, are climbing in top 500. Ryan is essentially, from my understanding, about a 60% a, a win rate hero, unmirrored. Because Ryan is... I always account it to multiple things. One, it can be a little bit easier to, to just, like, the play style of, like, kind of... You don't have to be aggressive. You don't have... You can hold your shield. But two, number two on Reinhardt, because I mentioned the, the, the play style... A lot of players in a lot of ranks know how to play behind a Reinhardt. And that also, I think, accounts to win rate. Because Reinhardt, in my opinion, also can help alleviate bad positioning. So a lot of players will have Reinhardts in their, in their rank games. So a lot of players know how to play behind Rein. And then Rein can also alleviate bad positioning because you have a shield to hide behind. So that's why some players, when you see the flip side, where you have a hero like Arissa, believe it or not, Arissa, right? is one of the lowest win rate heroes. And why is that? Because a lot of players, when they switch to Orisa, because they hear Orisa is good, don't know how to use good positioning because they usually will like be on Rhine where you can use your shield for bad positioning. And Orisa has no shield, so they waste all their cooldowns and they fall over, even though Orisa is clearly very strong. Um, so it's one of those things where like Reinhardt's a hero that they don't buff a lot, not because they look at Rhine and go, oh yeah, I love seeing Rhine fall over like, you know, paper mache sometimes. It's that... Ryan just wins so much that they, they, they can't justify giving the hero massive amounts of buffs because if you have a Ryan, it's just the win rates prove that Ryan is really good. It's the same reason why they also have to look at Arissa and be like, okay, we can't buff Arissa because if we buff Arissa, Arissa will be way better than anything. And anytime we take Arissa out of this low percentage win rate, it just, it just makes the game feel terrible across the board for people. So that's why it's like sometimes they, they even with the win rates, they have to take all that into account. But let's keep going here. All right. Back up a little bit during this. Remember, play corners when you do it. Like, somewhere safe. That's just a good charge by Ryan. That's a bad charge by you. Uh, but it worked out. Big slams! Only reason why I didn't like the charge is because I felt like your teammates were still there and keep you alive. And then you can kill the Ryan. So when you did that, they their Ryan also shattered. But their Ryan had better position and then follow up to do it. So it was it was an interesting sequence, but I, I just felt like the counter charge past them was not going to work out as well. At least that's how I saw it. Uh, I'll answer that question on, on YouTube after this uh, half. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, again, you 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 just need to play corners and stop charging in and like just. Okay, I, I, you know what? And I, and and maybe I'm maybe I'm seeing this wrong. I think you're. You mentioned that you want to keep up with the pacing of like as you climb. I think maybe you're at a point right now where. You're thinking the pacing of the game picks up really quickly. What gets better as you climb is not really necessarily the pace. It's the way that players can have better positioning. And when players have better positioning and know how to survive, 
that's when it starts to play really fast because they're they're minimizing how much damage they take and then playing quickly with it. You're taking a bunch of damage and trying to play fast, but it's not going to work because you're taking so much damage. Do you see what I'm saying? So like the pacing of the game shifts because players get better at minimizing the damage they take and then being able to quickly play into that. It's not players just start hitting their charge button more and, and just running at them in a straight line. It's players use good position into not take damage, which means they can play quicker and be up in your face quicker because they're not just having to hide behind corners all the time. So you start with good position and, and then that makes it so you can play more aggro. I think that's what's happening with you. I, I think you're trying to keep up with a pace that if you just position yourself better and minimize the damage you take and manage your cooldowns, you'll see how much quicker you can play. Uh, you submit anything on my Discord, there's no promise we get to. We get a ton of submissions every day, but my Discord's where any of the submissions go. Yep. Counter charge. I know, we, I know that's like counter charge that's not fun, but you had to do that one. And, but I'm going I'm to go back to this too. This, this, this goes back to what I talked about with positioning. And I, and I think this is where it can be super helpful. When you're positioned this far up and your teammates are also playing at a different pace, that counter charge becomes a lot worse for you, right? Obviously, you would ideally be around here. So when you counter charge the ride. So that's why you need to, as things are happening, you need to pace yourself to go to corners to hide. Don't think about playing in the open. If you find yourself in the middle of the open all the time, it's not good. Each of these maps has, has ways to survive. Like here, if you're on the attack, you would be using this corner until you can't. And then you have the cart. If you're on defense... You're playing here, but then they start to lose space. You want to start backing up. So even if you start to back up, as it's happening, you can then counter charge the Rhine closer, and then you're behind the wall. Now, see? Now you're here again. Or you can even go here. If you want to go here, this actually does something. People look at this and go, that kind of, that kind of sucks right now, doesn't it? When the card's not quite there yet, going here for a second just to get your cooldowns up actually creates a crossfire. So now imagine they try to turn for you and kill you. Well, guess what? Now your teammates are here. See? That's why you can get away with like using cover. But use cover. It, it, it just, it just, it's just as simple as that. I think if you do that, you're going to just get better in general. Oh, I know. Oh, that's why I said it. That counter charge was not going to be exciting, but it had to be done because if they don't do that, then... I mean, you could stand still at the card. I mean, that's the other play, so I get it. But... So what do you do with that if you do it? Always track with their Ryan's at when you know they have Shatter. Their Ryan hecked up. They could have had you easily there. Good job. Yep, shield your teammate. Good job. You always walk backwards off the gap. A lot of people do that in this map, depending on the rank. I, I, I've seen it in spectators. Usually in top 500, you go, like, people fall off that part when they get, like, pulled in there, but it still happens. It still happens. You can go for a shatter play if you want. Yes, this is the right, this is what you want. Yes, this is good. No, no, no. Don't worry about him right now. Don't worry about him right now. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I want to pause for a second because right now, I, you either have a free shatter main. And, okay, so the, the reason why I don't want you to worry about the Ryan for a little bit is because you know that Ryan doesn't have shatter. That Ryan just used shatter. So you have a free opportunity to go do whatever you want. This Ryan's out of the picture for a while. So what would you do if the Ryan wasn't here to begin with, right? Because I'm not worried about that Ryan going into your backline and killing people. And honestly, if that Ryan goes into the backline and kills your teammates right now, that's more in your teammates than you. I do like that. I, I, I think that you turn that corner and just, and just hold your shield and just be annoying to the other team. Like, don't worry about this Ryan for the first initial part because this Ryan's going to get nothing done. The Ryan's going to get nothing done. Instead, the Ryan basically... Oh, yeah. if that Ryan does that again, please just get a shatter off of him. Yes. Don't shatter. Do not shatter. Because you just orbited. Okay, so just a little bit of a, a, a helpful tip. May Ice Block does block shatter, and if you shatter into the Ice Block, it's going to get nobody. So, uh, big slam? <laughs> You had the right idea, you just didn't, you weren't patient enough to wait on the ice block. And there you go. Positioning is key. That's your number one issue, by the way. It's not your pacing, it's your, it, it's your, it's your positioning. Uh, Junkie Trap, thanks for the two months for the finish prize, but thank you, appreciate it. It's your positioning. No. Yes. 
to at least the kill feed, man, it seemed like they were pinned off. I mean, they kind of were, because, like, the momentum of the pin does that, you know what I mean? Oh, is it sushi? Yeah, I mean, hey, listen. Sometimes it just happens, right? It's Overwatch. You know, you have these... It's, it's the beauty of it. All right, so, so far, uh, once again, going back to what I was saying, I really think it's just the pacing. I, I think, like, don't... I mean, not the pacing, the, um... Your positioning. I think, I think you're... Your rough positioning is leading to you thinking it's a pacing issue when it's more of just you need to position better. And I'll, I'll explain more of that as we go through. All right, so Sigma Swap now from Reinhardt. What is PTR? It used to be the, like, public test ROM where you would test patches before they came out. So Sigma against Rhine, the Rhine technically has a better matchup than you, so just be careful of getting in front of their face. Remember, you're on Sigma. But, you're doing an okay job of that. You backed away when you saw the Rhine, so I'm okay with that. Just drop your shield. You don't have to use your shield again until it's full. I'm serious. Don't, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop using your shield. Just play cover and let your shield go up. No, stop. I gotta, I gotta pause for a second here. If you have all this cover in your spawn, stop using your shield. Because you're gonna keep having your shield never get back to full, and you're not gonna have a full shield when you need to go around the corner. Stop using your shield. Alright? Nice pick. Nice. Also, you notice how the Reinhardt kind of just went in and fed? You see why I kind of wanted you to push up when the Rhine does that and not just, like, sit there? You see the better results for your team when you just go and take map control and space when the Reinhardt goes in and feeds? I'm glad to see your reaction was, I'm not going to go and go for this Rhine, I'm just going to go in. I was very happy to see that. Remember, they have Zen ult, so try to track that ult. There's, there, there's some game theory here. If you want to use NL, I was going to say, a little bit of game theory, all right? And, and, and this is something that I've done before. Sometimes if you want to get an ultimate out, it's okay to get an ultimate out. And Sigma ultimate on second point King's Row with this choke is one of those plays where you, I'm okay with you at an ultimate Zen, even if they have Zen ult. Because you're gonna, you know you're going to get Zen ult out guaranteed. So it's your trade and your ultimate. But like in this type of situation where you're going to eventually need to push through this choke, rather than hold it onto your ultimate for three minutes for their Zen Yana than ever to ultimate, I like the idea of just getting their ult out. Now you have your own Zen ultimate to counter if you need it. And, you know, you can go in and make plays. So I, I like the idea of that. I, I, I have even, even when I'm playing Sigma, I've explained that. Where I'm like, hey, by the way, I'm going to ult to get out Zen ult. Because I just, I don't want to sit here for four minutes at the choke, getting nothing done. So, I'm okay with that. Now your teammates can pressure Zen more, because they know it's like a free kill if the Zenyatta gets like, you know, you have a Sombra, so now you're, it opens up the gameplay for your Sombra, I don't mind that. No. Hey, the So, well, I am not a fan of Ryan versus Sigma. Chat knows this. It, it's a tough matchup. Um, it works, but it's all about spamming. You just got to make sure that Ryan shield feels low and also play your distance. You know, I, I want to point out, even though your shield was late on blocking the shatter, having a shield there to prevent damage from anybody else is very helpful. So good job there. Good job. And now you get through the choke. You don't have an ultimate to worry about. That was good. That was, that was great across the board. Nice job. Oh yeah, back to the PTR question too. I think they do, I mean, with the new way they do stuff now, like basically, like their hero test that they usually do it is the PTR, you know? So, ooh, huge EMP. Just they do it live now in game. Nice pick. Now, now, shield up when you can, just to, just to help, there you go. Good job across the board, nice job. Good sequence there, very good sequence. And sometimes, chat, it, it's, 
When I say it's a very good sequence, I'm not talking about Sigma getting 35 in limbs. I'm just talking about proper cooldown usage, not overextending, working with your team, all of that. I'm, I'm happy with. I think that's totally fine. It doesn't. It doesn't need to be perfect. Well, yeah, when they do live hero tests in comparison to PTR hero tests, they're definitely going to get way more people to try the new hero. Like, way more than they ever would with PTR. They can get legit data on it, like you said. Yep. Don't be afraid to ult this again. They may have Zen ult again, but actually... Okay, I would wait a second here for your team to get back. Do not use your Sigma ult here. Just back away. Yep, back away. Good job. Don't use your shield. A little bit of a problem you're doing on Sigma is you keep using your shield when you don't need to. Remember that when you start to get cover... What rank is this? This is plat. When you start to get cover, you want to back away. You want to back away. You don't need to use your shield as much. Unless they wide peek the corner with like a Zenyatta. You're going to survive that. And the flip side is that when you do that, you take a little bit of that poke damage getting out. If they're not going to be able to kill you, which becomes apparent they're not going to be able to, you also build a little bit of ult charge for your Zenyatta or your other support if they need it, right? Sometimes I think players don't take that into account that like a little bit of the chip damage you take as you're disengaging can actually lead to support ult a lot quicker and you can actually turn around the fight. Uh, Gemstone, thanks for the 16 months for the previous finds. If you ever been new to Twitch, how do the, the drops work? You gotta have your account linked to Battle Knight, and you'll be able to get drops. Good ult in here, they're gonna Zen ult it, but once again, just follow up as much as you can. Force out Zen ult. Shield is in the air. Using your eat a little bit too early there, that's gonna open up an area for their Zarya to do that, but good window timing by your map. Good trade. Ooh, a little bit more value that we want to see on the Zarya, but I think you're still gonna be able to hold this. Honestly, Storm Arrow Steve managed to get you, but that's fine. Once I said use Sigma Shield like Zarya Bubble, you think you've... Yeah, that's why I always say it. Like, imagine your Sigma... Like, this, it, it's, it's different, because obviously, like, I might play a map like Circa Royale where I won't use, like, a, a, a bubble, but, like, the general idea of a Sigma Shield is when you need to know how to, like, balance your shield when you're moving forward or backwards, use it like a Zarya Bubble, not like a Ryan Shield. Yep. Not to be but I believe that one will call this the You had noticed the... This link pops a B, you know, okay, you want to see something else? Done with this, watch this, you ready? You ever notice this? You ever notice this? It's the little things, isn't it? Look at the shield. Look, look, look who's carrying Sigma shield. It's bees. Look at the bee. Bee. They carry Sigma shield in the skin. There you go. Wow, how much? I mean, probably better than me. I don't. I don't play it like mythic plus hardcore. You know. Not bad. So far, so good. Kill the Hanzo. Good job using the geometry on the map. You ready to shield up on Zarya? Should be able to get this. Should be able to get this. Should be able to get this. Should be able to get this, I hope. Uh, nice. Yep, Rock. More on point with 1 HP. Yeah, good ult. Get him in the air. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause for a second because you're doing something. It once again goes back to what you were asking the question of. And when I say asking the question of, you said that you, you felt like you're, you're, you're pacing like how quickly you played. You know what you need to do right there? You ready? Just slow it down. Just, just settle and play it like you normally would. Because right there, all I saw was you were getting so worried about 20 different things that the only thing that would have really won this for you is just by slowing it down. Put your shield up. Stay in your spot. Like, like, relax on the aim, like, try not to go for a bunch of people at once, and you're going to win that. Instead, you start to go, oh, no, wait, we're, we're towards the end here. And you start to spin in circles, and you're moving around, and you're trying to kill this target, that target. All you needed to do was put your shield up, shoot at the person in front of you, not worry about multiple targets, and you probably wipe them out. But instead, you're kind of all over the, all over the place trying to, like, get a kill, rush this cooldown, rush that cooldown. I always say, as you climb, things slow down, even though they seem fast. Like, that will, that will be something that will come with time, but eventually that will slow down for you, and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll just be like, shields up, shooting the Zarya, we're going to win. That's what you want to do. You just want to, when you get in these situations where it starts to get a bit wild, you just, just play like you normally would, and it will, it will work out. You just, 
I, because I, you were doing a good job of slowing it down on the left side. Remember when you killed Mahanzo, you took that methodically. Then you got to the point, and you then you acted like your sensitivity was six thousand, and you were just spinning in circles. The way you played it against the Hanzo, the left initially was great. The way you played it on the point was not as good, and that that kind of resulted in what you see right here. Just slow it down. Ah, a revelation was within my reach. All right, so. You have window coming up, so your team could window this. It's definitely going to guarantee if you cap this, you're going to go to uh, another round for both teams because it's under a minute. Nice pick. And this is what I mean. Do you see how, like, right here you're, you're slowed down? You're methodically spamming? This is what I was referencing before. This is what... This is what if you did this on point, you would have won the point already. You know what I'm saying? Good job. Good job eating the Moira Orb at that point in the game. Sometimes there's... Sometimes you don't want to eat the Moira Orb as, as Sigma. That is one of the times where you would. Now, now slow it down. Nice. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, but I mean, this is all easily fixable stuff. Like I said, the more I've watched them, the more it really just comes down to they just need to slow down their gameplay rather than like try to increase the speed of the gameplay. It's, it's as I've been saying, as you climb, the game looks faster. But as you understand the game more and know what's going to happen a lot of the time, it's, it, believe it or not, does the exact opposite. It slows everything down. It doesn't mean the game that you're watching is fast, but the way you're processing everything in game slows down. So it doesn't seem as fast as it is, even though it is fast. I'm sorry. I hope I'm explaining that correctly. I really do hope I'm explaining it correctly. Basically, it, it will start to, it will get faster, but it slows down. So you don't have to play fast. Like you're just playing how you normally would, but it's in like a, I, I, I hope, I, I wish I'm, I hope I'm explaining it correctly. Back on Ryan, or on Queen. Or maybe it's like, it's, it's like, you just start to process the game a lot quicker, so it's a lot easier to process everything that's happening in-game, which makes it a lot easier to deal with everything that's happening in-game. There you go. Play in the corner. Oh wait, this is what I mean by good positioning. Your good positioning here on Ryan has led to good results. Now just shield up. Good job, shield your team up. You have a whole shield. Just shield up. Perfect. That right there, by the way, is textbook good positioning and good help on your team. You see what I'm talking about? While they were playing fast, you weren't playing fast. Right? You see what I'm saying? You played that methodically. You did what you needed to do. You held corners. You held behind walls. Your supports feel that they don't have to worry about you as much. You then turn around and you use your cooldown correctly. And then you make a play and then guess what? You win. See that? And that's what I've been kind of like talking about with you is we're like, you just need to do that. That's it. All right, let's see how your attack goes. On Ryan again. So no Sigma this time on attack. We did see Sigma on first point attack last time. We'll see how it goes now. I have a Ramatra now, taking your time. Ready, and shield up. Shield, shield, shield. Get your team across. I think you got him across. I mean, it looks like he did, but I... I, I always, you can always turn your camera a little bit if you need to. Hide behind cover. Yep, perfect. Ambitious. Yep, no. No, 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 no. Just, just stop here. Kill the Ramatra out of position. If you want to charge, you charge to this wall. Or if you get stuck, you charge at this wall. You hide. You go behind cover where your Zen is. You have a 5v4. You hold your shield up. You have like a 1600 shield or whatever it is. You hold it up. You sit there with your shield. You say hello to them. And then that's that. Okay? You win. That charge? That's a, that's a way to, you know, give the other team an opportunity. I and mean, obviously you're not trying to do that. What was that? That was like a weird animation time. And thankfully, your Cassidy popped off. 
and you won, but that charge was rough. Okay, so let's talk about this very quickly. Here's what you need to work on. Positioning and actually slowing your gameplay down. Once again, I, 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 maybe I need a better way to describe it. When I say slow your gameplay down, I'm not saying play slow. What I'm saying is start with good cover and then everything else will come into play, okay? I, I really want you to focus on good positioning. Play corners, play walls, get your cooldowns up. Stop putting your, your Sigma shield out at five or 300 HP to, to take away 200 chip damage. Slow things down that way, and then you can play really aggressive, and you'll be fine. Anytime you got rolled here was because you, your positioning was, was not good, and that lack of good positioning led to what we're seeing now, where, you, where you, you struggled a little bit against what they were doing. And then any moment where we saw you play cover and play smart and, and slow your gameplay down, not in the way of like you're just like sitting back in your spawn, but you just like... Okay, I'm going to play Sigma. I'm going to push up to this wall. I'm going to push up to that wall. I'm going to drop my shield here. I'm going to play the corner. We saw good results. Anytime you thought you had to go charge in, we saw bad results. So, point I'm making here is positioning. 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 Play cover. It will lead to good results. You'll have much better games. You'll feel a lot better about your gameplay. It will go well. And, 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 and that will help with your pacing issues and the tempo of, of climbing. You do this. You play cover. Your supports are going to love you. You're going to love your HP bar. Not going back and forth as much with that yo-yo effect. Your DPS are probably going to somehow complain, but it's all good. It will all work out. No, I'm just kidding. But you'll be fine. Just play cover. I, 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 I can tell you right now, that is the number one thing you work on. You will improve a ton. I, 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 that's exactly what I'm saying. All right? You got this. You got this. If you like this video, make sure to the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't. Leave a comment. All that helps. If you want to submit your own spectator, look in the description below. You'll see my Discord. That's where we do that. We also record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch app, the webcam. Also stream on YouTube. So stop by if you haven't. We have a lot of fun here. With that being said, I hope you have an amazing day. Slash night.